How's it going, guys? This is Forensic Forks with Deontay, and I'm back with another video. This episode, I think, 50 or maybe 49 to the Agent Session Library. And it's been a while since I've done one of these videos and shown a recent example. So I'm bringing it back to the YouTube channel. So as you can see, we're still trading the pair US dollar versus Japanese yen, just to emphasize on the consistency on how to stick to one pair and how to keep the blinders on so you can see consistent results instead of jumping pair to pair. Now, this example that I'm going to be showing happened on Thursday the 10th, October 2024, and it is a picture-perfect Asian session model that checks off all the boxes to what the Asian session model is. It's essentially a false break on liquidity, and it's going to either start a pivotal moment into the higher time trend. So you'll see here from 12, 13, 14, 8 and then midnight so the model essentially is going to be looking for the buy side and sell side liquidity pools that are forming inside of the new york lunch the new york lunch is from 12 p.m to 8 p.m so this gray highlighted area again is your new york lunch i would not trade here this is the dead zone no man's land no trader should be looking for opportunities here Unless you've already found a trade idea in the previous kill zone and you're holding for partials or a runner, then do so. But if you're looking to find a new trade idea during the true day kill zone, you shouldn't trade here. All right, leave it alone. So this is buy side. And we're only taking all the swing highs that we have available that are unbroken and swing lows that are available. So every single one that I mark out, is a liquidity pool that is still available to the market to be rated or stopped out. So you see all these swing lows? Have one here. I guess it's pretty stacked. And then we have the opening price of the kill zone. Now you'll see why I'm marking off the opening price to the kill zone. It's very crucial for traders to understand the opening price is where you're gonna find your premium versus discount or overbought versus oversold levels without any indicators, right? The market gives you overbought and oversold levels naturally by its opening price of the kill zone. So right here at 8 p.m. New York Eastern Standard Time, when price opens, this is fair value. This is the opening bid of the Asian session. This is where it starts. Now, when price rises above it, it's expensive. Once price drops below it, it's in a discount. So right now where it stands here on the 15-minute chart on this candle, it's in a discount. It was in a premium for a second, and now it's in a discount. But that's not what we're worried about. We're worried about what side breaks first and whether or not we should be buying low or selling high. Just play it forward, see what happens. And we're not trying to guess which side is broken first. So as you play it forward, you see, look, price pushes all the way down and takes out sell side. So on this candle here, this is where we'll be looking for some type of long opportunity you gotta charge my laptop before it dies so price runs down here we're stalking on the one minute time frame so we're leaving the 15 minute time frame and going down to the one minute time frame to look for the entry that forms below the asian open potentially right we have to stalk it we're, we're paying attention to it we're alert we're not distracted by anything else we're now in the zone now this is also a swing high that forms inside of the zone because there's a lower high on the left and a lower high on the right. So I marked it off as a buy side liquidity pool. So let's go down to the one minute time frame. Now, what we're looking for is a fair value gap that runs through a swing high. So you can see our price runs into the opening price multiple times and then it finally distributes lower. Now, at this point, I'm trying to be counter to all the sellers everybody's looking for the breakout i'm actually trying to go opposite to the breakout traders they could be correct this night however they're not of course but there are times where they are right right they're looking for the breakout and the breakout happens and they win that trade and the traders that are going opposite to them lose for every winner there's a loser for every loser there's a winner for every buyer there's a seller and for every seller there's a buyer let's play it forward so they're selling but i'm over here looking for those longs Keep playing it forward. And I'm waiting for that swing high. To 
we ran out. There it is. So we got a long idea here. And this is where we're looking to go long. So you can see this entry idea has not changed from any of the other episodes. If you go back and watch episode one, all the way to episode 10, it was the very first fair value gap after the break on either side. But then I redefined it to this. And it's, it's this one. And I felt like the accuracy of this entry idea was much uh, great improvement on the older entry. And notice the entry too, right? This zone is forming where? Below the Asian Open. And that's where you're looking to go long. Let's play it forward. And there's no fear in losing because that's the risk that we can afford to take, right? So if you have a 10K account, you're risking 1%. That means 1% on this trade is 100 bucks. So you're comfortable with losing 100 bucks or winning 100 bucks. And as we play it out, going into the London session, you can see our price runs up, it hits TP, and it finally gets up to that buy side liquidity pool that formed in that dead zone in that 15 minute time frame. And if we play it forward, well, let's speed it up. Let's go on the 15 minute chart now. And we play it forward. You can see how the price is running up higher and higher and higher. And price never runs back down to the original stop loss at 148.518. And if I pause it and push it out to real time now, and where you think UJ is, based on that one entry on that Thursday night in October, zoom out, look at where it's at. We go to what 148,518. Somewhere around here. Right? It's over 500 plus pips. Off of that one idea during the Asian session, right? Notice how that kill zone was a very pivotal moment in time, right? It was almost the exact low for this new leg that unfolded or a new opportunity to get in sync with that new leg or the leg that's going to continue to go higher. Now, all these kill zones have these same moments, right? And same nuances and phenomenons of continuing a trend or potentially reversing a trend. So keep that in mind. So hopefully you found that insightful. Again, the model is simply looking for the market to take out one side of the market and revert to the other side of the market. As you can see, if I zoom into this chart here, you can see how it took out the south side liquidity pool first and then started hunting for longs as you play it forward. So it took, it took out that one, and then later on into the news, it took out that as well. So hopefully you find this insightful. Peace.